So this might be news to you as the Pokemon World Championships just happened last weekend. If you guys don't know, apparently there were a lot of players that were disqualified from Pokemon Worlds in Japan due to the fact that certain Pokemon on their teams were considered genned or hacked, illegal, however the Pokemon company wants to call it. And they DQ'd him on days one and two. Very interesting. Now, just a little background story because a lot of stories have been said from certain players but the very common thing a lot of the players and participants said is that eight days prior to the actual world championships the pokemon company warned the players that the legality checkers you know the things that bypass teams or block teams from entering worlds was going to be updated and it was going to be a lot stricter might be because due to the fact that the actual tournament was in japan and japan is the founder of all pokemon and of course stricter rules and stricter legality checks mean that players have to be very cautious about it while certain players thought they were confident in doing so a lot of players probably decided to you know get their pokemon last minute they might not have the resources and they decided to trust in someone else getting them their pokemon but a lot of players were disqualified due to one simple reason. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, so here is PK Hex. That's obviously probably what they were using anyways in order to get these Pokemon. Now, let's use the common example of Urshifu and Landris. So, how do you get Urshifu and Landris? Well, pretty much you get them from Pokemon Home. But how do they originate to Pokemon Home? You have to catch them in their respective games. So Landris can be caught in Generation 5, 6, 7, and 8. While Urshifu can be caught in Generation 8 via the DLC, the Alo Armor. So, I got myself here a Landris here that I'm going to port it into the actual, you know, Pokemon Builder itself. And if you look at the Pokemon Home Tracker, and this is pretty much the key reason why a lot of players were caught. The home tracker here had no value whatsoever, and therefore the Pokemon did not originate for any games. Now, of course, I am genning, using this as an example for educational purposes, I am genning Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. So, this Landris has a Pokemon home tracker ID, which meant that this Pokemon came from somewhere. And if you look at the Met, obviously it was Met in Ultra Sun via the Ultra Space Wilds, the little mini games you get there. So that makes sense. So did this Urshifu. So this Urshifu also has a home tracker. And you guys can see it right here as well. It's got a little unique um, digits. And if you look at the Met, it originated from Sword, from the Master Dojo, from the Owl Armor DLC. So now let's say what happens if I, let's say, bear in mind, I create a Landris that is gent in Scarlet and Violet. Well, it's going to pass the checks. You can see here it's legal. I decided to gen it all in Scarlet and Violet, assuming that I met in Scarlet and Violet, and someone traded this Pokemon to me. Of course, it says the original game was from Legends Arceus, and it was met at the specific location where I caught this Landris. And it has the ball. It has the met level. Everything checks out. According to the stat checker, you look on and look at the stats real quick. Nothing seems very fishy. The moves look okay. The stats, the met, the main information of this Pokemon, the cosmetics... It has the actual symbol that came from Legends Arceus, which matches up to the Met. Until you go into the original trainer. And you see here, well, first of all, of course, the OT is going to give it away. <laughs> Duh. But if it had a normal name, it will pass the check too. However, the biggest issue is in the home tracker. It has no value, meaning that this Pokemon never came through Pokemon Home's system. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, so that means the Landris didn't come from actual Legends Arceus. And you are correct with that presumption because, like I said, if you gen a Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet without transferring it to Pokemon Home and back to your game, it's not going to register a tracker ID. And I believe that was the main cause of suspicion amongst the legality checkers used at Pokemon Worlds. How can you get a Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that did not originally exist in that game itself, and yet it didn't go through Pokemon Home? So that means, to their conclusion, they can say, hey, your gen Pokemon came from Scarlet and Violet, 
and nowhere else. Landris and Urshifu, for example, do not originate from Scarlet and Violet. So does Hoopa. And this Hoopa, too, also doesn't have a home tracker as well, meaning that it was genned in Scarlet and Violet. If you get a Pokemon like Kyogre, Kyogre did come from Pokemon Home. And if you want to check further where it exactly it came from, you can go into the Met. It came from Ultra Moon. And so does this Typhlosion. Typhlosion came from Legends Arceus, because that's the only place where you can technically get one. And so on and so forth. So I think the biggest issue of players getting disqualified is just they're doing their absolute best to gen pokemon up to date and um, with the more specific like you know the first one two three four five six and a half maybe five and a half tabs they'll be correct but it comes down to the home tracker if your pokemon was gen in scarlet and violet without going through pokemon home sure and actually a don dozo can technically qualify for this because technically it can be found in scarlet and violet and it doesn't need to go anywhere else. And I'm going to show you guys my starter Pokemon. Uh, where is my Meowskarata? Yeah, so this Meowskarata was my actual starter Pokemon. And, of course, I didn't send it to Pokemon Home. Because why, why, why the hell would I do that? It's my starter Pokemon. So, of course, it's not going to get a home tracker. However, like I said, if you decide to get a Pokemon like Urshifu and maybe Ursaluna, for example and they come from different games, they need to go through Pokemon Home. So the simple way to fix this unique situation to avoid getting caught with the legality checkers is essentially, if you want to gen a Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, just put it through Pokemon Home, if you have an account in the first place, and then send those Pokemon back to your game, and a Pokemon Home tracker will show up for these Pokemon, and you're pretty much good to go. And as long as this you know, check is green, then you'll be good. But of course, the legality check on PK Hex, you know, will tell you, oh, this Pokemon's legal and you can use it for trade and battle. Of course, that's completely different from a legality checker prior to a massive tournament or massive prestigious event like Pokemon Worlds. So you got to be careful with that. And that's pretty much it. So overall, you know, if you're going to gen, of course, gen correctly. But to be more meticulous about it, just put your Pokemon through Pokemon Home. If you gen the Pokemon that does not exist in Scarlet and Violet, just put it through Pokemon Home and then bring it back to your game and then you'll get yourself a home tracker. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for all the recent support. You guys have been amazing. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, see you guys on the next one. I hope this was more informative rather than people telling you this and that. So it's your boy Franklin signing out. Peace.